We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today we're going to be diving in. We're going to be checking out Dungeon Encounters by Square Enix, released on October 14th, 2021. A big shout out and a thank you to Square Enix for providing a code for this. It means a lot, and this is a very weird looking game. It definitely looks like it's something up my alley, but, well, you'll see. It just, well, you see right here. It looks really, really, really weird. So I'm I am very curious to see how it plays. I, I couldn't 100% parse exactly what's going on, but I it intrigued me enough that I'm like, you know what? I'll reach out if they send it my way, and they did. So I'm here for it. Anyway, let's dive in. We're going to be going in completely blind here. And you may not have even heard of this game. Like, it kind of was out of nowhere. I was like, what is this? Oh, that's weird looking. Oh, kind of interesting, though. All right. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Story. Near a town, quiet and peaceful, an otherworldly labyrinth one day appeared, and from its depths poured forth countless ravenous fiends. The lords sent their best and brightest to chart the halls and beat back the horde, but alas, not a single one returned. Bereft of men-at-arms, but not of hope, the small folk resolved to stand for themselves. One by one they came to the academy to learn Warcraft that they might succeed, where others failed, that they might breach the heart of the stronghold and drive the fiends from their lands once and for all. Ah, uh, let's go to the academy. Assemble your expedition party. Okay. Review party composition. Yep, I don't know what I'm doing, so by all means. Music's a little bit on the loud side. Current party members are displayed here. Bloop. A list of all characters can be perused here. Sorry, it's not a word I'm used to seeing. Or reading. Or saying. Okay. Select a party member's slot followed by one of the characters in the list to add that character to the party. The slot was previously filled. The old character will be removed from the party. Okay. The address indicating a character's current location is displayed here. Note that characters must be present in the same location as the party to be added. In party. X, Y, and Z coordinates? Strange. Uh, if a character is afflicted with a status ailment, it will be displayed here. Petrified. Sure. Well, right now... I guess we get to go after things. All right. So what are, what are we looking at here? Level two something. I feel like it would be useful if they had like a class maybe? Most of these guys are all walking around with a broadsword and whatever Malio one is. This guy's got an unarmed. He's unarmed in one. He's got a hatchet as the other, and he is also maybe a she and possibly a cat. So real confusing. Uh huh. This is a level one. Malif Maliflux, huh? All right. So looking at what I what I've seen thus far, I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna have. Nanga Par. We're going to go with... The Hatchet. Level 1 Lahulagi. Sure, I'm sure I pronounce that flawlessly, as I do everything, of course. I'm going to go with the Unarmed Hatchet. Elva. And I think we're going to go down with our level one here. Zuloch. Zuloch. All right. I guess that's the squad. Tiles with white numbers contain events. To trigger them, enter the tile and select confirm. Note that tiles you have previously traversed will change color permanently. Okay. Events can always be found at the same location. This, this location will be recorded in your event log. 
If an event can be found at multiple locations, the most recent one visited will be displayed. Okay, the address of your current position is displayed here. To the right of, or to the right is the number of tiles you have mapped, followed by the total number of tiles on the current floor. Your movement speed is displayed here. Total number of tiles mapped in the dungeon is displayed here, followed by the number of tiles you must map to obtain another ability point. Okay, so it's all about walking around mapping the dungeon, which is what it looked like, okay? So I'm tracking thus far. Auto advance allows you to move your party automatically until reaching an event or wall. Auto advance settings can be changed via configuration at any time. Hold. Uh, press and hold the circle while moving your party to initiate auto advance, and then press it once to... While moving your party to initiate it. Huh. Release the stop. I'll press again. Okay. Got it. Play guides can be reviewed via the menu. Composition equipment, ability log. We have no abilities, event log, nothing, battle log, no. Inventory. Composition equipment? Sure, we'll check out the equipment play guide. Each character has a pool of proficiency points, or PP, and every item has a PP cost. A total cost of all equipped items cannot exceed a character's maximum PP. It's way too easy. I'm going to let it go. Items currently equipped by the selected character are displayed here. Press square to remove the selected item. All right. So we're at the academy at 50-50 on floor zero. Can we... Oh, I say, can we move the map without walking? But apparently no. And we can walk backwards. All right, that's fine. Okay, it's very weird so far, but I, I get it. And it it could be combat, it could be anything when we go into these uh, these events. So it may be wise to avoid doing events for a little while. How does one get to that one? Oh, like that. Ooh, there was a secret. There was a secret thing there. Well, this is kind of cool. It gives you like a kind of a tabletop RPG vibe here. I'm not mad at it. For charting 100 tiles, one ability point has been awarded. Uh huh, uh huh. Ability log. Cool. What does configuration do? Sorry. Okay, that's what I assumed. Okay. Well, we'll map out these. Uh, I'm sure we'll figure out what the ability log is soon the academy we could have revisited the academy if we wanted to i'm looking for event 001 or sorry 01 and i have not found that yet i found three and four i found five and six still have not found one there it is all right descending stairs the underworld maybe we didn't want to do that that now seems like a Mistake. Alright, we're gonna go back up. We're not ready to descend into another level. I mean, that's what I assumed it meant, and I was right, but yeah. Alright, let's go to three. Let's see what happens. The ability station. Okay, not super useful. Party's abilities will be restored. I mean, Resurrection Shrine, KO, KO Party's be healed. Okay, it's good, to, it's good to understand these things and, and kind of figure them out and learn where they're at and what they do. Healing fountain, okay. Be cured, okay. These are all important things to know. Mummy's garments, strange. Imp shield and cloaks, are they these stores? Chimera's arms, skeletons, defenses, and wizards incantation. We're fully clearing... Uh, sorry, fully charting floor zero, 0 Three ability points have been awarded. Okay. This is Chimera Arms? Alright. Yeah, here we go. So we could buy and sell, but we don't have any gold yet. Okay, so really the first level is... I'm going to hit some buttons here just to see. Do we do we get a... Like a uh -oh. Do we get like a map button or something that pops up? That's how we adjust the speed. Okay. I'm just trying to exploration log shows what we've seen here. Okay. 
and it shows whether or not we've actually done. Okay, that's cool. All right, we can, we'll increase the speed. It's not time to head downstairs. And now we're gonna get ourselves into some potential danger. Oh, here we go, we got our first battle. We're up against some ghostly ghost boys. All right, what are we up? What are we up against here? All participants in the, aw, oh, ATB, no. Oh, it's okay. All participants in battle possess an ATB gauge, which fills over time when full. They may act. Weapons can be used to carry out attacks. These attacks deal one of three different types of damage. Physical, magic, or HP. Physical attacks attack damages and deplete an enemy's physical defense. Okay. Magical attack depletes enemy magical defense. When one of these defenses are fully depleted, subsequent attacks of the corresponding type will go after the HP. Makes sense. If you wish to take no action with a party member, you may hold cancel to pass their turn. Should your party emerge victorious in battle, both physical and magical defenses will be fully restored. Ooh, nice. Party members may be subject to the variety of statuses. Stonebound, petrified, poison, KO, cavied, cavied, cavide, I don't know. Weary, uh, consumed, wandering. Stonebound, slowly turning to stone, will be petrified when the counter reaches zero. Stats removed automatically at the end of battle. Nice. Petrified is turned to stone. HP is gradually reduced over time. Poisoned, what's that? Uh, KO'd, reduced to zero, unable to fight. Attacks are more likely to miss. Uh, it's cavied, cavied, cavide. I don't know. Weary. HP is at 12.5% or lower. Ingested by a fiend and unable to fight. She's lost in the dungeon location unknown. All right, we're up against a ghost. Do, do we get to know anything about these skills? I'm going to go with the broadsword because I think we have more just physical damage. All right, it is AP ATB base, which I like, or which which I'm, I'm usually not a fan of, but it's ATB turn based, and I love that, and that makes me very, very, very happy. All right, we're going after ghost number two. Then we're going after ghost number one, and we said good day, says. Ugh, first battle was a victory. I like it. So very, very kind of an old school vibe. Very notes on fiends ghosts. Very uh, interesting, like uh, very minimalist looking. It's it's fascinating that they that Square Enix came up with something like this uh, in 2021. It, it's not an insult. It's just not what you'd expect from a AAA company, right? So, you know, props, kudos, shout out. Profile added to Battle Log Ghost. Physical, magical, ten ten, and an HP is three. Uh, they drop arming swords. Recruits cap. Which is rare. Arming sword uh, and recruits cap for shop wares. I, I don't fully understand what a shop wear is, but it's fine. Well, that was cool. We fought our first battle, folks, and we survived. We whooped some ghost booty. Getting ability points. We got the ability station. We should have a whole bunch of ability points by this point, but... Uh, I mean... Three, there was six, five. We have, like, we have like five or seven ability points. I don't know. Exploration ability acquired fiend scouting. While active, battle encounters will be marked on the map. To use this ability, you must equip it at the ability station. I review the abilities. Sure. Abilities can be obtained via the events. Okay, that makes sense. These abilities can then be set to active at the ability station. Okay, Fiend Scouting costs three, and those are the ability points. So we have 15, is what we had. Okay, okay, okay. Um, many abilities have a limited number of uses. Passive, okay. These uses can only be replenished via certain events. Your ability points pull limits the number and type of act, or sorry, of abilities that you are able to have active at any given time. The total cost of all active abilities cannot exceed this value. All right, that, that makes sense. And then we go here, and boom. And now, I, I, see, I still wish there was like a like a zoom or something so we could like. Oh, wait, wait, wait. so we did that. Now we have to actually. No, we did equip it, right? So we should see now, battles. I guess the zero zeros are battles, maybe, and that zero one is a battle. All right, well, let's go after the zero zeros first. They are probably easier. 
just a simple go straight up. Just gonna smack him. Times two, he's done. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. I, I, I like their, their super simple hand holding, like, teach you how to basically baby's first dungeon. Right now, descending stairs, we're not ready for that just yet. We're gonna go into a battle zero one. Ooh, we got ourselves a wild boar. All right, the ghost is gonna move first. I think what we do here is we take on the boar with some magic. We take on the ghost with the, with the kitty cat. Sure, 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 it's fine. Oh, the pig's mad. Okay, okay, is this physical? Malio one. Okay, pigs down. All we gotta do is finish off the ghost, and the ghost is done. So we lost nothing overall. Our physical defense held, essentially shields, and we lost no HP. Three experience. That's nice. It's good. I like this. This is cool. Again, this is like old school tabletop. You got the grid and everything on the notes on fiends, a wild boar. Profile added. They've got 30 physical, 27 uh, magic, 31 HP overall. Uh, they can drop a leather hat and mystery compound A. Okay, I'm here for it. Again, we want to explore all of the, the dungeon. Hopefully we don't need a resurrection shrine. For a single ghost, I mean, one would hope not. I would like to see some carry on, carry over damage. Like if you're able to get through the shield, it'd be nice to be able to actually immediately hit into the HP. Maybe even at half damage. So say you swing for 30, they've got a shield for 10. You would hit them for 10. That would 10 of your points. You have 20, 20 damage left. Maybe you only hit for 10. And then you could immediately like one shot something. But I suppose later on we'll be glad it's this way. That's that's my my guess. It's like right now, sure, we'd like it to be a different way, but I imagine I imagine we're gonna want it to be this way later. All right, these are the final five. Going ghost shopping. And, oh, we didn't do enough physical damage to get through the ghost there. Elva's not bringing much to the table. I mean, it is a cat using a hatchet. I mean. I'm not sure why I'm surprised by this, but hey. Uh, yeah, I so say we go down to the next place. Keep it moving. Ability, ability, or battle ability withdraw. Okay, okay, good, good, good. We got that. Uh, the party will flee from battle. No rewards will be earned. To use this ability, you must equip it at ability station, which I'm going to do right now, because that sounds very useful. Just in case I do something dumb and get myself killed, which is very possible. I'm wondering if the number on the the black numbers for the battles. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm wondering if those are like difficulty levels of the battles themselves. If we go up against a three, it should be higher than like a single ghost and a boar. It is. It's a skeleton. And the skeleton is... Quite a bit stronger. He's only got one HP. I'm gonna say we do magic. Let's try it. Oh, we just immediately. Okay. Let's see ya. It's two experience. Okay, there's the stairs down, there's a four here. Which I think we're fine to deal with if we needed to. Let's try it. Ooh, it's a, a Lamia or a Lamia. Uh just hit her with a broadsword? She has no physical defense? She has no physical defense? Alright. At 60, it should be enough to... Ooh. So I wonder how that works, right? Oh, we can execute... Oh, no, okay. 
So the hatchet's 60, but it doesn't do 60. It only does, well that one did 20, the last one did 15. So what is, what is the, that 60 number then? Is that like potential damage? Like, like what are we talking? All right, well, that one was not, like, super scary, but it was a little bit scarier. Let's just take it. Let's try the five. Uh-oh. The enemy vanished. Oh, well, that was easy. We have a 9A. Notes on fiends. Killer Mantis. 32 physical, 22 magic, 36 HP, mace, mystery compound D. All right. We shall continue to explore. A seven. I'm not sure I'm really feeling a seven. What is it, two? Ascending stairs. That's right. All right, let's get into the battle with... Ah, there's the Killer Mantis. And, and, and the Lamia. Did not do much. Oh, we did really high damage that time around. Get him with the Malio. Mm. Ooh. Completely took out our armor on our... Okay. 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 We did it. He'll get all of his physical defense back. Now, I'm wondering when we're going to level up. Oh, there we go. Ask the question. It's answered as I'm in the middle of asking it. All right. So, we got to level up. Level 1 to 2, max HP goes up, PP goes up. Just two of them, though. I, I need to get... Are, are we getting money? We are getting money. So we're getting a little bit of gold here. Alright, let's take this fight. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Okay, hopefully we can we can draw a bit of aggro. Ooh, that took direct HP damage. Okay, that's a little bit spooky times. Alright. Elva's ready to do some damage. Uh, I think we just focus on the top mantis. Ooh, all of us got slapped a little bit there. So we've finally taken our first chunk of uh, HP damage. Really getting through him very well, are we? Here we go. Everybody took a bit of damage. Elva's down to 9 HP. Party was victorious. Okay, from 33 to 38, 42 to 50. It's a bit rough. Um, so if we backtrack, I mean, I don't know if this is going to hurt us at all, but... Oh, the battles have uh, been replaced here. Interesting. If I recall correctly, Resurrection and Healing Fountain. So everybody is fully healed. Good. And if we wanted to, we could grind out a few more uh, battles down here, interestingly enough. I would say that I wouldn't hate seeing, like, an additional... Like, maybe a mini-map or something would be a nice uh, addition to this. But I, I just... I don't... I don't see it. I think that would be a very good thing to have. So you'd be like, oh. Oh, so if you leave the floor, okay. Then you come back, everything is uh, repopulated on there. Okay. Oh. So that, that, okay. That's interesting. That, that, that is good to know, though. 
Uh, the battles repopulate if you leave the floor. Okay. The lesson hath been learned. What is 9B? Skelly boys. Skelly boys are physical damage, or sorry, physical defense and magical defense, 43 and 39 and 1 HP. Leather clothing. And I don't believe that we've picked up any additional equipment. We have nothing in inventory, so nobody has dropped anything for us yet. There's a healing fountain there, the resurrection shrine. It looks like there's at least one on every level, or maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Huh. I thought we had a... Hey, cool. I thought we had the ability to, like, walk in a direction. All right, so now i got to figure out where in the world our... Number one is down in that corner, isn't it? All right, we're going to go battle this. Okay, little little spooky. I mean, I don't think we've got enough oomph to, or to take any damage. It's unfortunate. It's all good. It's all good. Some quick attacks on you. Looks like there's the speed button up there. ATB, wait. There's options. Well, pause. Sorry, options is pause. Hmm. Be nice to be able to switch out the speed maybe a little bit. I mean, since it's all waiting, right? It's all ATB, wait, and then it's your turn. Like, I'm fine with that. I just think we should be able to speed it up if that's going to be the case, right? Alright, so we've got some gold. I mean, I guess I can try to hold on. Probably can. Or do you think I should start searching for a... Uh... Yeah, that's right here. Healing Fountain of Six. Alright. Very strange. Very just... Very different, unique, like, styling to the game. Didn't go with any, like, super extreme art or anything else like that. Just kind of straight down the, you know, straight down the line. What is a 0A? Oh, no. Ooh. Well, the aqua weed is murderable with magic. And yet also does magic, which is really strange. Alright, so took care of one of those. But don't... Alright. Big hit down here, hopefully. Okay, not bad. Not bad, our speed should be higher than theirs. I mean, it is. It is definitely higher than theirs. So that should be that one gone. And then just beat down the wolf. With some physical beat downage. Beat down it too? Aww. It's alright. I don't think we lost any HP this time around. Which is fine. Alright, cool. So, just a little, little bits here. So that was, uh, ooh, that was a bit more than I was anticipating, honestly. All right, well, we're gathering up some stuffs. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Uh, looks like we're going to have to get ourselves into some fighting soon, though. wonder what 9D is. On Lamia. All right. So what do we know about Lamia? Uh, zero physical defense. Sure, 68 HP. 
the Maleri one and some leather armor. Like, why is nothing dropping? I mean, I'd like to get some actual equipment. I think that'd be swell. And you know what? Let's let's take the fight. Three skelly boys, sure. Oh, like okay. Ah, uh, it's hoping we get uh, attacked before he got to go. So he's down. He's down. Oh, very, very, very weak hit. A little bit of magic there. Weird. But he's not going to be long for this world. We're just going to basically breeze through him. There we go. Okay, level three. Sure, sure. We either need to get to a shop, which means we either need to go back all the way up to the top, resurrection and healing, or we just need to get to a shop in general. Uh, maybe there's going to be one down here. Should be swell, by the way. Um, and then we should be able to actually buy some equipment. I don't feel like backtracking all the way to the top. Hopefully there's going to be something that brings us back to the top. Or, again, we come across an area that actually has a shop. All right, the Aqua Weed. No magic defense. HP is 59. Malaflux 2 and 1. Physical defense of 40. All right, makes sense. Hmm... There was a lot going on. All right, I guess we'll take this, and then maybe we'll just break off the episode there. I wanted to get a little further in, but it's like things are kind of flying along here. The lane of the Mantis. Might be able to take it down if we can do at least 19. Oh, yeah. Oh, 65. That's at least 19. And you're done? Nope. Kind of mess with all of us a little bit there, no big deal. We said good day, sir. I mean, I don't dislike my party, but I'm, I'm not overwhelmed with it right now. Math Riddle 1, level 1. The answer is the address ABC equals... Oh, what? Uh, sorry, 6, 17, and 25? I, I don't... Okay. Don't know what that means, but surprise! We found the answer, at least. Well, I mean, as much as I want to fully clear this area, I don't know if we'll be able to do that in a single episode. Maybe. All right, let's take a, at least this fight. Ooh, there we go. Just a wolf. Let's go in with the broadswords and an attack. Oh, that was adorable. You tried to magic me for some unknown reason. That was a big hit. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> oh, very unfortunate that it was wasted. And then we hit for one. That was, that was rough. Well, at least the Hellhound's not overwhelmingly challenging. I'll probably adjust some of the sound effects and music and such in the, uh, the future. The Ascending Stairs. Well, I mean, we've we've done most of this stuff now. 
I don't know how it uh it saves. I actually have no idea. So I'm, I'm very curious. I'm just assuming maybe we can continue where we left off. I, I don't really know. Pretty easy. We'll stay with it a little bit longer, guys and gals. Like I said, it's a it's a weird game to be releasing in 2021 from a triple A studio, but that's not a bad thing. Like I said just just very weird, just like out of nowhere, not something that you would expect, but I like it. I like this actually quite a bit. It's uh, sometimes things get overly complicated, right? You don't always need over overly complicated stuff. Sometimes you just need something simple, and straightforward, and this seems to be about as simple and straightforward as it can get. So I want to thank Square Enix once again for hooking me up with the code for this. Uh, like I said, I looked at it. I didn't really know what to think of it, but it, it looked interesting. So I was like, oh, I'll check it out. It looks cool if it comes my way. I'm very curious. And, well, it's about what it'll look like. Ooh, we got a hat. We actually got a hat. All right, hold on. That's important, maybe. All right, hold on. Recruits has uh, uh, PP cost 2, speed 1, magical defense. Speed 0, PP cost 5, magical defense is 150. Oh, my. Well, I think we'll just do that. We'll lower our speed by 1. I'm okay with that. Oh. So we can give you Maliflux now. Not just Maliflux, though. Maliflux 2. Hold on. Do, do you have any, like... Yeah, it's fine. I don't know if, like, one person's more inclined to do something great than another person. Like, there's still a lot of stuff I don't fully get, but it's okay. It's okay. I, I, think, we, I think we need to clear this. I think that is, uh... That is the thing that we need to do. We have six tiles left to cover. I can miss a lot of stuff here. Come on. All right, let's get into another OA battle. Oh, this is super easy. Got a Maliflux 1. Big ol' hit. I'm gonna drop Maliflux 2. See how this does. Even slightly larger hit than a Malio 1. Not quite as impressive, and Maliflux, or Maliflux 2, or sorry, 1 again. Oh, uh, we got the one weak one. That's super, that's super sad. Alright, I like it. Uh, I think it's the other way. Here are the final ones. Battel. All right, Malaflux it up. Oh my God, that was tremendous. All right, that's the double aqua weeds gone, and then we're down to the killer mantis coming at us, bringing some some pain, some hatred. Fair, we're going melee uh, physical styles with the Z right now. One more swing, and that's it. I'll take it. Party is victorious. That it matters. Yay! Cool. All right, we're gonna descend one more time, and this is gonna be where we break off this first episode, folks. Uh, really curious your thoughts on this one. Like I said, kind of out of nowhere. Very, very cool looking game. Uh, I'm going to play around, see if I can't find out any maybe additional settings and things of that nature that I'll be able to do, play around with the configuration a little bit and so on and so forth. But yeah, uh, pretty straightforward. Just kind of like cuts back all the extras and you're just straight into the action. It's like going through one of those old school dungeons where you're like, all right, you had the graph paper and you're like, cert you know, outlining the different areas and this is a room and then so on and so forth. Or you had to use the grid paper to map out, uh, the games, uh, like super old school dungeon exploration games, it, it, it has that feel to it. So, yeah, uh, curious. Down below, guys and gals, comment. Let me know your thoughts on this game. Whether you like it, you hate it, uh, you're you're mesmerized by it. Uh, big nostalgia pop. Like like what what is your what are your thoughts when it comes to this one? 
And once again, folks, a big shout out and a thank you to Square Enix for hooking me up with this. Uh, yeah, been uh, been very. They've been very generous to me lately, and that's been very, very, very uh, nice. It's been very nice. They, they're my white whale for quite some time, and yeah, we're, we're working together now, and that's uh, that's great. I, I look forward to doing more stuff with them in the future, and I'm always looking for uh, new and exciting, different things to, to cover, and this definitely kind of fits all of that into one. Anyway, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that stuff down below in the description of the video. I'll have various links just like always. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. You know the score, folks. Till the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play. We fight. We conquer.